homesteading project that I'm a part of with four other people. I was a part of the Sustainable Farming Certificate Program. It was over a hundred hours of coursework and I just did that last year. Well, I didn't farm at all until I was in college and I ended up traveling in 2007 to Norway through the WOOF program to kind of probably set the farming thing in motion. Last year I was just I just moved to the Ithaca area and I was gardening uh, in town um, on my own and there were definitely times when I felt like I really wanted to start start my own farm um, and it would kind of occur to me how many other I guess activities or things that I'm interested in that uh, would feel impossible if I was starting a business on my own from scratch uh, and as far as the, the things that I got out of it. I mean, some of the biggest ones were like, even though I wasn't particularly business minded and have never been, I feel like it was good for me to have certain aspects of, of sort of farm planning. It's just nice to see that it, that it can be something where you just use the right tools um, to make that possible. And otherwise, I guess a really huge part of that program and what I got out of it was seeing a lot of the overlap between farming and food justice some of the more concrete accomplishments are like, you know, I can look at the garden that we made at the Chimney Swift and I can look at the food that's come out of it and that we're bringing in, you know. I certainly still spend a fair amount on groceries, but I spend very little on produce and that feels really huge to me. The accomplishments I feel like come when I think about my sense of confidence with different tasks, you know, between the apprenticeships I've done in the past and then the, the groundswell course. Um, it really just solidified a lot of things that I had some experience with or a fair amount of experience with. Things I had done hands-on and then all of a sudden doing them in more of a classroom setting. You know, it's like there's the physical aspect and then the, the intellectual or mental aspect of it. And it kind of like, now I had both of those things. And in terms of advice, I would say, um, put yourself out there. Um, do as much as you can to explore as many different farms and meet as many different farmers. and see who you can click with, um, especially if you have the possibility of doing that before uh, going for a full season. Say yes to things and be honest and try to communicate as clearly as you can.